I've never seen Amazing Grace sung like that before. Ring the bell. Hey YouTube friends, Amber here today and it's not just an exciting day or anything. Today's the day that we have to call our broilers here. A couple of videos back we were blessed with free broilers, me birds. We've been taking care of them for the past six weeks now, and it's time for the hard part. We respect these birds and have tried to give them the very best life that we could, and now it's time for them to provide for our family. The Lord has blessed us tremendously. We're thankful for the birds, but I don't think we'll do this again. For one, it costs a lot of money. They eat a ton of food and chicken feed is expensive especially when you're buying it twice a week. We have moved them closer now to our station uh, that we've set up over here. Uh, thankfully we have some friends that have some killing cones that we could borrow because we didn't want to invest in something that we didn't plan on continue doing. So very thankful to our friends for letting us borrow that. We lost about half of the flock because it rained and stormed really hard one night. And instead of going under this shelter, half of them stood over there in the rain and got soaked and died. But it may have ended up being a good thing because we don't, we're not sure where we're gonna put all these birds. We're gonna have to rearrange and find freezer space. Y'all know the shortage of freezers out there. We'll figure it out. Since we decided not to do this long term, we went ahead and skinned the chickens since we didn't have a chicken plucker. It also helped the process go a lot faster as well. This guy's saving my stomach. He took over the gutting because I, I couldn't do it. Matt here's a trapper. He's thinking about starting a YouTube channel. Y'all should encourage him to do that. I know a lot of y'all would be interested in that, huh? How how much what do you eat? Everything. Everything. <laughs> you may ask him what he cooks for dinner before you just start digging in at his house. <laughs> It wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. This cooler is full of chicken. We had 18 of them. We processed 18 chickens in about a little under two and a half hours, which is pretty good. If Matt and um, his son Junior hadn't have been here, we would have been here three more hours or so. I had originally started gutting the chickens and I couldn't do it. So he did it for me, thank goodness and then Junior was our chicken wrangler. Our boys are at my sister's house for the week, so that's why they're not here today. We are very thankful for our friends. We're gonna, we're gonna give them some chickens for helping us out today. And now we have a freezer full of whole chickens. Pretty nice. The work is done, now we enjoy. Easy. 
I said excuse, excuse me. Show us your ninja moves. <laughs> Impressive. As you can see, the boys made it back safe and sound from their Aunt Elmo and Uncle Robbie's house. And we were able to fit all the chicken in our deep freezer and we put some in our uh in the church's freezer that's next door to our house so very thankful <laughs> we're very thankful that we were able to have those resources to store our chickens so as you can see we have our bantams they have upgraded and gotten a much more spacious home compared to what they were in. This is Uno. We are slowly integrating her with the Bantams. She is a Bantam herself. He or she, not sure. But the boys named her Uno because she was the only one that hatched uh, from her mother, which is Bambi right there, the white one. Real eggs? impromptu egg baskets because I wasn't planning on coming out to collect eggs. Hey, I'm okay with that though. The sun is setting behind you guys. Mama, let's go check the rabbits and see how baby rabbits. Okay. There's no baby. So we still want to have a way to provide meat for our family and a much easier way as well as a much more affordable way. The route that our family has planned on taking are rabbits. This is our buck and then over here we have our does. Garden gold, right there. The rabbits are ready to start breeding, but we need to build a fryer cage for them. And the way that we've decided to try and do that is to use the old bantam coop, which will work out perfectly. Let me show you what it looks like. This is the old bantam coop. We are going to try and elevate this put some hardwire cloth in the bottom and probably put a divider in the middle and this will work out perfectly for our fryers. What do you think you are doing? I'm a monkey! David, look, I'm a monkey! What do monkeys say? Come around here and look what I find. What are you doing in my garden? I see what you've been doing. You've been eating my tomatoes. Yes, you. Don't you flaunt your feathers at me. They keep getting in the garden. They fly over the fence and get in there all the time. It's very frustrating. Oh yeah. So our long-term plan is rabbits for providing meat for our family. They don't take up a lot of space. They don't eat a ton of food. They're easy to raise. They're easy to clean after you've processed them. They taste just like chicken. That seems to work best for our family. While we enjoyed the chickens and are thankful that we were provided with the chickens, that is not the permanent route that we have decided to go with. Thank you guys for watching today. Comment below how you've been blessed. 
and y'all have a good one. God bless.